Today we are going to talk about final k or the k position in, in or k sound in final position. Okay. Yesterday we talked about um, the initial medial k sound, right? Yeah. All right. And the two letters that share that sound are C and K. And we learned that K in initial position will spell the k sound before e, e, I, or Y. And C will spell the k sound before A, A O, U, or A any consonant. consonant. Very good. So this reminder card will help you with that. Look at it. Make sure that whenever you are spelling and you hear a k sound in initial or medial position, you have to be thoughtful. You can't just slap a K or a C down. You got to think about it, right? Kind of have to think ahead to the next letter before you even write the K, right? If it's in first or middle position, okay? So those will help you. Now we're, today we're going to talk about final position K, okay? So we have something new, new card to add to your ring. And this is in a red frame. The red frame reminder cards always mean final position, okay? So we're going to talk about these three spellings. We have three spellings in final position, okay? Three spellings. So go ahead and attach that onto your ring right behind the blue one that we just, the initial medial that we just talked about. Okay. Can you open it? I sure can. The same way, like just behind it, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. That would work the best. Got it? No. Okay. I got it down. I got it down. And then you have to stick that one right on there. Okay. So we're going to use that kind of just as a guideline. Have it out there for you. Flip it over so you can see the red frame. Okay. And you'll be ready to go, all right? So in our sound bubble, we already have, on this page, we already have the K. K will always represent K, right? Because it owns it, right? It owns that sound. It's let the other letters that we're gonna talk about borrow that sound, right? Okay, so we have initial medial down today, just final, we're gonna talk about, okay? So get ready, because we have three, three, I'm having trouble making three this week. Three spellings that we're going to talk about. All right, so final is spelled. Now let's look on our card. Okay, look on the final card. And what is the first spelling that we're going to talk about? CK. CK. This is what we call a digraph. It's two letters that are making one sound. These, this does not say k. This says when you see it together, and it will only be found in what position? Final. Final. Okay? So we're talking about final digraph CK. We're going to write the rule down. All right? So look at the rule. When are we going to use digraph CK in final position? Annabelle? Is it sound? After. Don't forget this word right here. After. In a one syllable word. This is very important. We're going to write that whole thing down. Write small. CK after a short vowel. Now, if you don't want to write out short vowel, you can. You could write another short version would be a V, because that stands for vowel, with a breathe on top of it, and then put it in a sound bubble. That talks, that represents all five vowels, a, e, i, o, u, or a, e, i, o, u. Oh, sorry, a, e, i, o, u, not a, e, i, o, u. It's only after a short vowel sound, okay? This is this up here. This symbol, remember, is a breathe, and it stands for the short vowel sound, okay? All right, so after a short vowel sound, in a one syllable, Word. Can anyone think of a word that we could use that ends in k? Sick. Sick. Out. 
I mean, Addison, what's yours? Um, backpack. Backpack is quite a word. We could, we could either do back or pack. Let's do that since we already have a lot there. Or we could do sick, right? Okay. All right. So let's sound out our word. Okay. And let's agree on, you gave me the word first, so let's do sick. Okay. And then if you want to do back, use the same strategy if you want to write back. Okay. All right. Let's sound out sick. Ready? Ick. Okay. Now, do we have a short vowel sound before? Do we hear a short vowel sound in this yes. word? It. Igloo. It. We sure do. And then we have a k right after it, right next to it. So how are we going to spell that final k? Um, C-H. C-K. K. 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 Very good. Let's write sick down. S-I-C-K. -S now, listen, if you want to spell back, you can do the same thing. I'm writing kind of big so you can see what I'm writing. And I'm going to erase along the way because I have three of these to put down. But you write small, okay? You've got all that down. You have it on your reminder card right there on your desk that you can always look back on too. All right, right underneath. Right underneath. We're still in final. Go ahead and write another sound bubble. Is also spelled. Look down on your card. What? Is, how else is it spelled? K. K. Very good. So it's right. K. Now this we had K in initial medial, didn't we? But this K is in a different position, so it has a different rule with it. Okay. So let's read the rule. So we're going to use final K after what? Uh, can I read it? Mm-hmm. be an E-R, O-R, A-R, okay, any of those? I-R. I-R, U-R, any of those. So, this is a lot. I'm going to give you some abbreviations to use so you don't have to write all of those words. So watch carefully up here, okay? We're going to write the word after. We need to know that it does come after. We are in final position. K comes after, all right? First, it says long vowel. Let's put a V and a macron, this, this macron represents any long vowel sound, A-E-I-O-U, okay? Then comma, put a large C, we've done this before, with a period, that stands for consonant, okay? Put a comma, then vowel pair, vowel pair is two vowels together, and you can see this um, poster right over here. Two vowels. Vowel digraph T. Okay? Vowel, vowel. And then notice this poster right here is the vowel R bossy R combination that Addison read for us. And that's a V and an R with a little arc underneath connecting it. Okay? So those are the symbols for each one of those. If you forget what those symbols are called, you have your reminder card to remind you. Kind of like a U. Okay? It does. I know it kind of connected it on my smart board. It's a little off, a little un, not lined up. But you can put it under, further underneath than I did. Okay. Can you think of a word that um, ends with K, the letter K, mm -hmm. and either has a long vowel, consonant, vowel digraph, or vowel R combination in front of it? Sack. Hmm. Sack. Sack. Okay, let's unblend, and let's see if that works. Sack. What's this sound right before the? Is that a long vowel sound? No, it's short. That would be up here, right? Think about your vowel sounds. Think of something with a long vowel or a consonant right before it.
coming right before the final k, oh. which is what? L. Which is a? A vowel, a L is a, can't be a consonant vowel, but it can be a, has to be one or the other. D-R. A consonant. Does K come after a consonant? Yes. Yes, so milk will do, won't it? Let's spell milk. Spell it for me. M-I-K. Whoa, sound it out. What came right before the final K? M-I-L-K. Very good. Don't forget that L. The tricky sound sometimes that we miss. Okay, let's do the third one. What's our third spelling for K? Right underneath, make sure you're lining it up so it looks nice and neat. C is our final spelling now. I'm going to erase a little bit. You keep it. I'm going to erase it. Uh, it looks like my CK is like K. Can I... Okay, that's up to you. you gotta, got to make it nice and neat. Under, Make it under, you know, line it up. Then that helps, okay? Draw your line, go equal. Okay, so you're going to have to erase. Okay, how could you problem solve? What could you do? Well, that's still going to run into that, isn't it? There you go. Okay, if you need to lower it, I'm putting them, stacking them, but if you need to drop your C down to here, that's okay. Okay, so it doesn't run into your other information. we got lots of information here. Okay, so K is spelled C after... Okay, anyone want to read it? Have we heard another final k that comes after a short vowel sound? Have we read about that? No. Uh, we have. We read the first one. Read CK. What was CK? What does CK come uh, after? In a one syllable word. So what's different between final digraph CK and final C? They both come after a short vowel. What's different? It comes in at the end of a two-syllable word. So when we are spelling and we hear a k, we're going to have to check to see if it is a one-syllable word or a two-syllable word. Okay? So C comes after a short vowel sound. You can go ahead and abbreviate and write a V with a brief over it in a sound bubble. That stands for a, f, e, i, a. Okay? After a short vowel sound in a two-syllable word. Word. Two syllable word. Okay. Now these are words like Atlantic, like the oceans, Pacific. Okay. Um, you could do that. Fantastic. Okay. Now sound out back. Sound up. What comes right before it? Hmm? What sound? Is that long or short? Short. So we do have a short, okay? But, okay, and I understand what you're doing. Backpack. Sounds like it's a two syllable word, right? It's actually a compound word, and each of those, which a compound word is made up of two small words. So we would have to still spell back. B A C K and pack P A C K. You understand? Atlantic is a two or more syllable word. Okay? It, and, and Atlantic happens to be three. All right? And it's not a compound word. There's not smaller words in Atlantic, is there? Right. So you have to think about compound words. So I'm glad you brought that up. That's a very good thing. 